All right, Alfred Telefero, Mr. Telefero TV. For those who remember, we had a little fun with James Prince, the father of Jazz Prince, the guy that had a lot to do with Drake being the mega star that he is today. All right, Jazz Prince is a guy that has taken credit for founding Drake. Drake has never shied away from that. It's one of Drake's closest guys around him. And um, pretty much Drake ain't been getting a lot of the money that he's owed. Now, it's easy to say Drake is good because Drake is good. You see the album sells the tours, but Drake probably should be getting a shit ton of more money that he is owed, all right? It's official. A copy of the complaint has been obtained by Pitchfork Monday that officially shows Jazz Prince going after Birdman harder than ever to pursue money that Drake is owed in profits, all right? In a legal document, Prince accuses Birdman and Cash Money of not awarding him and Aspire Music Group their share of profits, all right? Now it looks like Prince is joining with Aspire Music Group and he has some sort of ownership stake. So it's pretty much Prince wanting two-thirds of the pot, all right? According to the suit, Birdman isn't honoring his contractual obligation to pay Aspire one-third and Prince another third, all right, of the money that they have been owed on Drake's profits. Additionally, an exclusive deal Drake signed under Birdman in 2013 also allegedly breached Drake's initial agreement and forced Aspire to lose like $4 million. So they've been taking L's because Birdman ain't giving them their proper uh, money due. And now it looks like it's kind of carried over and things are hitting the fan. And again, some of these things that when I did the, the story on James Prince, who said we about to come at Birdman hard, this is what they meant, all right? James Prince, the father of Josh Prince, said that they're going to try to t talk things out. But it doesn't look like Jazz Prince is in a talking mood. It looks like he's ready to go to work legally and get his share of the pot. Very unfortunate situation. Very unfortunate situation. Um, I'll give my quick two thoughts. The fact that the complaint is out there now, it tells me that this is serious. And again, I believe this is something, like I said in the last post, that is going to hit the fan by the end of 2017. It looks like a lot of parties are done. I thought it was worth noting that I think Drake mentioned Birdman in his, al his last album, or it was in a recent song or something like that. So I thought maybe Drake and Birdman were on talking terms, but because if you mention somebody in a rap, in, a, in, a, in an unharmful way, I, I, I think you guys generally have a decent relationship, right? That doesn't seem to be the case. Drake is old money. Wayne is old money. Drake signed to Wayne, but Wayne doesn't own the rights to anything. Young money, for all intents and purposes, is not a real entity. The paperwork ain't right. So young money is cool to say, but all the paperwork leads back to cash money. Young money is more just a slogan. Some cool to say, young moolah, baby, because it doesn't stand for anything. None of the paperwork gets back to young money. Drake and Nicki Minaj are not signed to young money. They are signed to cash money. Wayne just made a group called young money that these guys take part in over the years. Young money doesn't have any paperwork that's correct. So now everybody's looking up like Birdman. This money didn't just fall out of the sky and end up in the woods somewhere. Somebody got this bread. Now, is it you? What's up? Like, are you? How are you going to deny that you don't have this money? We didn't get the money. Wayne says he doesn't get the money. Somebody is lying. Between Wayne and between Birdman, somebody is lying. And I don't want to get join on anybody's side here, but. Even Wayne ain't putting out a project. So you would think if Wayne got his bread, I don't think he spent that much money in weed, whatever, drugs, whatever, where he doesn't have money to put out his own music. But he can't even put out his own damn project right now because of the paperwork. So I tend to believe that there is something consistent with how Birdman has treated his employees over the years. All right. Jazz Prince has went forward and went ahead. And this lawsuit is a real thing. And he is suing it. Birdman, Young Money, Cash Money, Re Cash Money Records, and, and he wants his bread. Jazz is like, we're old money. Drake makes all the money in the world and everything else, but we want every dime that you owe us, 
and Drake has not been getting what his just do is his profit, all right? Now, I don't know where this kind of puts Wayne, because I don't, I don't know if Wayne can co-sue with Jazz Prince, and I don't know if this will affect Wayne's situation. I don't think it will. This seems to be more or less something that Dr Jazz is going after the money, or Jazz is going after the money that Drake is owed. Not Nicki, not Wayne. It's about Drake, the biggest, arguably the biggest male artist in the world. Alfred Telefero, Mr. Telefero TV. I, again, guys, I think it's time for me. To, I'm going to do like a 20 or 30 minute piece on just how crazy this Drake, Wayne, Nikki, Birdman, really Wayne and Birdman situation has got. I think it's time that I do that. I think the culture wants me to do that. It'll be a 30 minute segment. I'm going to explain how dumb this is, how crazy that Wayne like, this is the biggest story in hip-hop in the last 15 to 20 years, if you want me to be honest with you. And I don't think we're giving it, and I do a lot of stories on it. I still don't think we're giving it enough attention. Wayne was arguably the biggest artist in the world from 2005 to 2011 or 12. He can't put out a project now. He can't put out music. And Drake and Nicki, I'm going to save some of this content for this 30-minute segment if y'all say y'all want it. Drake and Nicki have to look at their boss, who they thought there was their boss, and Wayne, and look at themselves as they grow their own brands, and look at Wayne like, dang, you supposed to be our leader, and you didn't even take care of your business, and we have become bigger brands than you, Wayne. If y'all want me to go in like that, Talk to me in the comment box below. I got 30 minutes worth of content how this is the craziest story to happen in hip-hop since we lost Tupac and Biggie. I'm serious. We are watching one of the biggest artists in the world not be able to put out music. Alpha Telefell, Mr. Telefell TV. For more exclusive content like this, go to my website. It's MrT.com. I try to keep you up to date as possible. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, at it's Mr. Telefell. Follow me at it's Mr. Telefero and make sure you check out it's Mr. T .com. Again, I just released my website less than a couple days ago and we we popping, man. We got a lot of views coming through that channel, through that site, and it's just we just growing the brand. Thank y'all so much for the support. I'm out. If you're looking to book me for an interview video or by phone, if you're looking to have your music or your skill featured on my daily podcast, if you're looking to book me for a speaking engagement to help motivate some kids, if you're looking to have me rock some of your clothing to help promote your brand, make sure you hit me up at booking at Again, that's booking at